Kitten Flu. Item number, SCP-1797. Object Class, Euclid. Special Containment Procedures. Isolated samples of SCP-1797 are contained at Site-197 under standard containment procedures for viral agents. Instances of SCP-1797-A created for testing must be kept in isolated chambers at all times. If a direct interaction with a SCP-1797-A instance is necessary, the organism must be remotely sedated, and any personnel entering its chamber must adhere to biosafety level 2 procedures. Any materials remaining after the testing is concluded must be disposed of via incineration. Description: SCP-1797 is an anomalous strain of influenza primarily transmitted through contact with SCP-1797-A. Apart from its anomalous properties, SCP-1797 is similar to other influenza strains. The virus causes symptoms such as fever, coughing, and fatigue can be treated with antiviral medications or overcome naturally by the host's immune system. Two days after infection, several large tumors will begin to grow on the host's body. Typically, from five to eight tumors will develop at a time. The tumors will continue to grow for several days, reaching 12 to 20 centimeters in size and gradually taking the shape of an instance of SCP-1797-A. Once fully grown, SCP-1797-A will animate and detach from the host's body. The process will repeat for as long as the host is infected with SCP-1797. SCP-1797-A have the appearance of Felis catus, domestic cat, from 3 to 8 weeks old, depending on the instance. Genetically, instances of SCP-1797-A are identical to the individual they originate from. The organisms do not age once detached from their host and are unable to breed. The average lifespan of SCP-1797-A is two years. SCP-1797 was discovered during an outbreak in Nizhnevertovsk, Russia. The outbreak was traced back to Vesevolod Nikolaevich Chernatobov, a 92-year-old citizen of Nizhnevertovsk. Several witnesses had confirmed that Chernatobov have been selling and giving away domestic cats as a main source of income for the past seven years. Examination of the Chernatobov's apartment revealed 23 living instances of SCP-1797-A, partial remains of approximately 60 more instances, as well as numerous tools, tableware, and several pieces of furniture constructed from materials gathered from SCP-1797-A. Chernatobov was taken into the Foundation custody, where he expired two weeks later due to health complications caused by prolonged undernourishment.